All right, guys, I'm going to show you how this thing works again. So, uh, this is the way we handle it. Take some of the weight off of it. Give it a little help coming up. Flop it over just like that. Uh, you know, I made this thing out of an old golf cart caddy. I just wanted you to see that. And it works so well. But anyway, pull it around here. Keep going that direction. See how easy that thing rolls? So guys, we've had a lot of people ask us about seats in our kayak dolly also. We can call it a dolly or whatever. We call it a dolly. And as you saw, it's easy to pull. It stands up high. And you can make these things any way you want to. You can design them. They're pretty easy to make. And I know there's other uh, designs too, but this is old Mojo's design. We like it. I mean, it, it sets high and it's easy. You lunch trap it. You push that off. Uh, off the you push the canoe into the water. And, I mean the kayak. And I'm not sure about canoes. It may do a canoe also. But anyway, uh, it's it's real easy to handle. And we like them. But I had a lot of other, a lot of people ask us uh, everywhere we go. Well, what about your seats. Well this is an old stadium seat and you know how what my montage is. Don't don't throw stuff away. You can find a use for most everything or somebody else may need it. Well this is a stadium seat. This is a and these are stadium seats also. So okay guys here's the stadium seat in the kayak. And I'm not getting in there and and see, as you can see, we got this strap out. We can tighten it up any way we want to. But the main thing, see, we got this on here, and you got little uh, containers in here on this particular can. All kinds of little pockets there. It's a really a good stadium seat. But here, if, if you need, you know, somewhere to put your elbows because you can't hold your elbows up or whatever, that's good for that. And it's it's really good. I'm glad I went ahead and bought these, even though we haven't really used them that much on stadium seating. Uh, but anyway, let's get over here, and we got a we got a little uh, Carol Merrill here going to show us how to get in this thing. See, this one just sits there. That's that little cheaper version of that stadium seat. Y'all know Carol Merrill, don't you? Uh, we don't fall out. Look at her. All right, see, she just sits in that thing. Right now, I don't know that we do any strapping that thing down and attaching it, Glenda, do we? No, we don't. I just put my feet right here, and I like to just lean back like that. But you know these kayaks. Kayaks, guys, they're uh, one size may not fit all. I mean, you got to make it your own comfortable seating. Yeah, I'm, I'm about five foot two, and this one here, the support on the back and everything is good for me. And some of you may be six foot two. You know, it just makes a big difference in how far back you sit. When you buy a kayak, make sure it fits you and your weight factor and all the other stuff. Now, as far as kayaks, I love pockets in different areas to put uh, put supplies. Now, the, this is mine, and it does have a place for a five-gallon bucket there and a, a fairly large area to put your stuff. When you're ordering kayaks, all that comes into play, because when you get out in that river, come on, Glenda, let's well, show them this. Well, you order a dry sack, too, because well, that's what I was going to show with, with water. I was going to show, show you the dry sack. And, and we all, all get excited about kayaking, especially Glenda. You all know how I feel about it. I love it, but I don't like to get wet. There's a container, built-in container on this one, and this is a Tahoma, I think. I think we bought both of them. It's a lifetime, and I know they sell these at the big box store up the way. It's called, you, you might not be able to see. It's a lifetime. I think this is like a 11 or 12 foot or two. But yeah, we love kayaking. Oh, here's another hat guy. Golf balls. I think these may be the uh, practice golf balls. You got to have these little stoppers in here. Or you're going to get wet. 
but yeah these are pretty nice and there's another little area on this one that you put your uh, rut sack or something like that your dry sack whatever they call it these days but yeah this was supposed to be about my dolly and as you see i got it all uh sashed down cinched down with that uh what is these called? <laughs> bungees. I always have plenty of bungees if you're going to do any camping or anything else because they take a lot of, you know, you have to make things work out in the bush. So, yeah, you want all that stuff, bungee cords and everything, all your supplies, flashlight. But that dry sack, you want to keep it in an area where it does not get wet you want to put your phone in there a, he a light just in case you get out after dark and you get lost because that's very possible too on these rivers but we really like these things and can't wait to go hopefully we'll be able to go in uh, i'd say a month or so we got a lot of plans you see there wave to them glenda hey but yeah we're getting ready like i've been saying we want to put this little old nano. This is our nano. We love our nano. We'll give you an inside tour when we get time. We've been really busy getting our channel up and going, guys. But we do appreciate you watching our channel. We really do appreciate you. Don't forget, if you know anybody that would be interested in these uh, dollies, uh, share the video with them. Or the seating, because we get questions all the time about the seats. And we also got that other video I uploaded about a month ago talking about the dolly in a little more detail. I didn't talk about it in detail, but it's you can do a lot with these. But anyway, guys, we appreciate you watching. Bye. Bye.